What is up you guys, this is Nick Refreshingly, and I'm back at it with a new video. I'm glad you guys can make it. Barely gotta do any introductions, cause you know what we do here. But on top of that, so I got a pretty good episode for you viewers out there. And with that, I will be reminding you guys, if you're loving the things I do find, remember, link is down below. Do check out the Depop. I will be thanking everyone out there who's been ordering, killing it like always. You see the video? Killing it. And also with that, a little reminder, if you're enjoying the videos and you do wanna make more, remember, hit that like button. And as well as that, please hit the subscribe button if you're not already, hit that bell button if you wanna see when I upload immediately. Gucci snoochie. Poochie poochie. Straight away in the spot like you know I always do. Gotta check what I gotta check because I came in here a little late. But you never know what I can come up on, right? Just never know. Oh, in the infant section, check it out. A little newer Calvin Klein. That is so sick. Spell out on the sides of the arm. Super smacks you. <laughs> so yes, they were bumping the crazy, crazy music on here, but check this one out on a Franklin crew neck. The vintage Tommy USA Sports. Uh, very bootleg. <laughs> I am not gonna pick this one up, but that is a dope piece nonetheless. Uh, cuff sleeves, like I always love, but you know what I'm looking for. Gotta keep checking. So sadly, and I mean that sadly, but check this out now. It's six bucks, Patagonia. I thought, whoa, came up, right? So this is actually a women's large, because I did come to the women's section just to check it out. Um, too bad, man. I thought this was another men's piece. This one's way too small. Uh, that Patagonia patch, though. Love it all. I think this one I had to show it. Someone, it looked like someone sliced the uh, crew neck, but they did not. Check this one, 1997, 1998, 1999, and the 2000. It's a Y2K bug. It's too crappy. Gosh, I had to show this one. The hot dog pillow, extra mustard. What's going on with this one? <laughs> I've never seen one of these. I've seen a pizza before. That's a whole nother story, right? I'll keep looking. So this one is so sick, you guys gotta check it out. The vintage starter jersey, my gosh. Made in Korea, size XL, the only one, four bucks. The LA Kings, home team, what's up? That is so sick, oh my gosh. Now that's a come up. Well, that's all I found, good start. Next spot, let's go. So straight outside and check it out, it's Henry. What's up Henry? What you doing my boy? Eee. Henry is thrift to death, if you know what I mean. He's just doing it, right? Just hanging out. Like I said, next spot. Woo! So crazy thing, went through all of the glasses and I did come up with one thing. It is the uh, apple case in pink. Is it the smart one? I don't know. Maybe not that smart. It's pretty cool though. $2.99, a little chipping. Probably not gonna pick it up. But it's a cool find nonetheless. Let's check it out. My domain. My domain. Yeah. All right, I just found something in here. It's called the Splash Pack. I don't know what it is. Look at this. It looks like there's a bottle inside of it. You put this around your waist. I don't know. There's two of them in here. It's punny. Very punny. The only hat I actually found was this uh, pretty clean Nautica hat. It's not bad. It's in this baby blue colorway with the yellow, with the embroidery. It's pretty nice. Maybe a cop. It's a little touch up, if you know what I mean. So you guys, you guys, you guys. I am searching through these bags like a mofo, okay? So much stuff in here, but I moved it out. It just keeps falling back. So I'm pulling out now. Pull out game strong. <laughs> That's another story. Just doing what I can over here. Like the little coin purse. What is it? What is it? Look what I pulled out of here. Huh? Fiery Ed Hardy duffel <laughs> with the tag still on it. Ooh, look at that the tag. Six bucks. Mm -hmm. 
What is that? What is that, man? One question, and one question all the time. Is he coming back? What do you think? Huh? Feezy, we meet again. And this one's not that good either. <laughs> they want six bucks, look at that. They almost got it right, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's this gonna be, huh? If the real ones are the pirate blacks, are these the silly sailor pirate blacks? I don't know. Another one found. Goodbye. For a second, I thought Billionaire Boys Club should get out Bugle Boy Company. That's a pretty cool one though. Bugle Boy for the win over here. Nothing in the bags over there, so you know where I'm at. And that's where it's at. I haven't came up on a polo piece in a while. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It says the finest quality gentlemen's furnishings, polo RL. Awesome. Uh, I came up on this piece before in white and it was an XL and I still have it. This one is a size medium and that's beautiful. Look at that. Front and back, pretty clean. Pretty clean. Another piece tickling my vintage fancy, you know, the Sod collection made in Pakistan. It says road trip anywhere, somewhere. Let's go nowhere. It's pretty sick though, single stitch. You know how I like it. But it's a little uh, stretched out. It's okay. Corto nueve centavos en calle ocho vieja. So honestly, I was just searching and lurking like always. I came up on the uh, gray tag, so this one's like in the 2000s, size XL. The embroidery is nice, and I go, okay. It's a nice little piece. And then check out the back right there. The Nike on the butt. The Nike on that booty. That's what it's got going for it right there. Okay, okay. What do you think? My cop. Look what was hiding. In the what is this toddler section? I don't know. It's a polo jeans long sleeve, no cuffs. Too bad. Uh, I don't know if this is the actual wear of it. This might be the way it looks. I don't know. It's so even. You just can't tell. The tag looks amazing, but that print looks so weathered. I don't know. If you know me, I don't pick up polo jeans that much, but this is a spell out. It's a big, pretty big spell out. I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up or not. I know what they charge for long sleeves. It's murder. It's Guapi. So check it out. Did find another board over here. But I don't know. It's waterlogged. It's waterlogged. I can feel it. It's kind of weird. It's a Tony Hawk board. But with the Huck Jam riot trucks. And the whole thing feels like it's from Target. I don't know why. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm putting it back. And they want uh, 10 bucks. It's a set. Sadly, sadly nothing in the shirts, but I'm gonna check the sweaters now. You know how it goes. <laughs> what was I just saying? The big rider. What? Oh my gosh, it's a size large. That number three. Dang, look at that embroidery. It's pretty clean. That's the first time I ever came up on a hoodie of this one. I always find the quarter zips. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Don't know what's up, it's just one of those polo days, if you know what I mean. Polo days. Check it out, I found this little like rubber cow over here. What is this? <laughs> oh, it's an apple round, so it's pretty funny. He bounces.
Bugs Bunny, 2002. Soccer. I don't know. I think I'm about to get this ukulele right here. It could be for Henry. Dirt Batman. Place got packed, taken off. You know what that means. Not one of my greatest shots, but hey, I'll take it nonetheless. Now, I'll get in the shorts right off the bat. Uh, again, elastic is still good, pull string still good. You see that gray tag right there? Remember, this is 2000s Nike, so it's not that old. What it's got going for it is the simplicity right there, the simplicity of the little Nike swoosh, as I already know. So with that, it's got that Nike right on the booty. I gotta say, the condition is pretty awesome. Believe me, I came up on newer stuff that is completely torn up, and you come up on the older stuff and it looks great. So this is right in the middle of the two. Was happy. Definitely didn't mind picking up for four bucks. Haven't seen this one. That booty dope. Now onto that in the tees. A pretty crazy piece because I found this one in white. It's not a blue and it's not a purple. It's right in the middle of the two. Again, you got that Polo by Ralph Lauren blue tag in there. Very nice. Very crispy. Size medium. With that, that print looks amazing. You got the rider here. Polo RL. Very equestrian wear as well as the crown up there in 1967. Such a sick piece. It's roughed up. It is a size medium. Got a little bit more room in there so it fits a large. You're loving it. Check out Depop. Quick fold though. Hmm. Now to that, another polo piece in the mix here. And yes, it is a hoodie. I've never came up on one of these hoodies before. I've only came up on quarter zips, like I said. Found some polo shirts a lot of the time, but never a hoodie. And guess what? Came up on one. I'm very surprised because I saw the big rider popping out of the sweaters. I didn't know it was going to have the three on the side right there. You guys can see patch. Honestly, very subtle fading. And that's what you want to see with these older pieces. Because I don't want a dead stock piece that looks just brand new. I want to have some vintage flavor. You know what I'm talking about. And this is a nice little come up for six bucks. And if you donate, 25% off. Donate. Like I said, it was a polo day. Now, last but not least, and I'm gonna say the Kappa day, first find of the day pretty much, it is the Made in Korea Vintage Starter Los Angeles Kings Hockey Jersey. Just amazing, like I said, the tag on it still, how much? $3.98. I was very happy. <laughs> Size XL, check it out. Right on the front here, I gotta say, it's got little marks here, and they look like little stains, so I'm gonna try to get it out. You know what I do. Sets this piece off. I love the stitching, as well as that, the embroidery starter on the left arm right there. Like, I didn't see this one at first but I had to show it check out the embroidery around the back the starter with the Western Conference NHL logo like I said it's such a sick piece because it's not only a 90 starter piece what is it it's a Los Angeles Kings piece home team what's up this patchwork is super sexy this is my first time coming up on any LA Kings piece and let alone being a hockey jersey it was crazy and think about it I came up at the spot and I wanted to talk about it so much in the thrift store but I couldn't for me walking in I saw him hovering around the jackets he didn't find this he found a Sherpa Levi's I was already going oh my gosh I didn't see it at the time no another thrifter was in there he pulled it out of the other guy's car you think about that that's like fighting terms right there the guy actually comes up to me and asks did you see a Levi's jacket like as if I took it and I was like no I had this with me like this I was like no the guy ended up going oh my god I'm sorry he comes up in the back and tries to give it back to the guy the guy literally takes it and then he comes back to the guy and gives it back to him oh my oh gosh because I was like damn that guy lucked out so much he came up on a Sherpa they were taxing a little bit on it but hey man you make your money back on that unless he's keeping it that's a good day for him. Find my little story. But yes, I want to thank you for watching. I did not find a bunch of stuff like I always hoped to. A few pieces that really did make me smile, as well as, wow. Check the comps on this piece. They vary, but they are all in the green, and that's what I like. Some of them even almost topping $100. It's just like when I found this one, someone put, you found a bill, and I was like, yeah. And with that, I'm just going to say what I always say. Hit that sub button, because my videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.